Cruise ships are some of the largest moving structures mankind has built, and that means they burn a lot of fuel. They're some of the most technically advanced structures in the world because with thousands of passengers and crew on board, virtually every square foot of them requires some sort of power. Which leads to the question, how much fuel do cruise ships burn? Well, fuel consumption depends on the size and power output of the ship. Cruise ships can range anywhere from about 20 megawatts like the Seaborne Odyssey to about 100 megawatts for the Oasis of the Seas, the largest cruise ship class in the world. Alright, so megawatts, power, yada yada yada, how much fuel are we burning? Well, you can get the fuel consumption of these engines by looking at specific fuel oil consumption, or SFOC. And how do I know what kind of engines we're using? Well, it's on Wikipedia. For any individual ship, you can find the exact make and model of the generators they use. Okay, so we get our make and model, now we can just go over to our generator's website and find the SFOC, and look, there it is. And we can see for the word Scylla 46F class, it's 175 grams per kilowatt hour. And so we can just do some unit conversions and multiply our total megawatts to get between about 2 and 10 metric tons of fuel per hour in total. To put that into perspective, it takes about 17 cars with full tanks of gas to hold one ton of fuel. So yeah, I'm saying it's like 35 to 170 full car fuel tanks worth per hour, so that's like a lot of fuel. Cruise ships usually have a max fuel capacity of around 3,000 metric tons, and in a week they'll typically burn about 800 tons of fuel. And where is all the fuel? Well, it's down in the hull, which also plays a role in ship stability like ballast tanks. And how much does all this fuel cost? Well, cruise ships use heavy fuel oil, which goes for about $400 a metric ton, or they use marine gas oil, which goes for about $600 a metric ton. And that means a cruise ship spends between 20 to $30 million annually on fuel, so hopefully they're selling enough alcohol. But yeah, cruise ship fuel is really cheap, so why don't cars just run on cruise ship fuel? Well, cruise ship fuel is coming more towards the bottom of the distillation column in petroleum refining, and car fuel comes more towards the top of the column. In distillation, you get a thicker material on the bottom. And basically, cruise ships can burn this thicker type of fuel because their engines are so big. There's more room for an explosion. Car engines are just not big enough to burn cruise ship fuel, so that's why cars gotta burn the more expensive stuff. And that's how much fuel cruise ships burn. Please show your support by liking and subscribing, and thanks for watching.